Taurus, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey. I'm doing a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node of Taurus. Taurus, so something is going on with your unconsciousness. Something's going on in your 12th house. So I want to see, we may read a little bit, bit. I have my special deck here. My really special growth deck that I'm using. And I want to see... Um, What's going on? If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Keep in mind, every piece you may, of the reading may not fit. Take what's for you, what's not. Throw it out. If it's for you, we'll just click. Okay? So let's see. What's going on? Seven days. What's going on very clearly? Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Something's lying in the, in the, up, in the unconscious here. So, sweet spirit, what do we got for Taurus with the unconsciousness? Thought like codes. Thoughts. I said thought. I'm sorry. It's thought. Light codes. Initiation. Great teacher awakening. Okay. Okay. So let's see. So I feel like the teacher within you is starting to awaken. Are you noticing that, Taurus? A teacher is calling. You're a light worker, a light, uh, something of helping the planet. I don't know if you know it or not. Maybe you're starting to realize that you're coming into that. Bear with me, huh? I just had it. I'm getting tired. Sorry, so I still get a little sleepy. 59. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, I did kind of go to bed late last night. I forgot. Okay. Some of you might have Atlantean ties. It says, you are blessed to connect with Thoth. You are going through a powerful set of light initiations. At this time, these are preparing you to lead and teach from a powerful place of love. Mm. There's a teacher within you that's arising here. Um, in order to complete the process, there will be a release of old ideas and limiting stories. But this is necessary for you to connect with your true power within you. I'm also feeling, Taurus, take it easy on yourself. I would consider taking a salt bath, all right? And kind of relaxing and releasing that energy. I feel like you need to release that energy. It needs to release. It has something to do with you going into your new, um, into your north node. Don't be concerned by the intensity of the energies that surround you right now. Facing shadow parts of yourself and your story is essential for connecting with divine magic. you got to release this, okay? And evolved beings of light are there to lead the way. If you have any concerns or fears at this time, know that when your fear gets loud, it's because you're in the cusp of something extremely powerful. You are doing a transition right now. And you need to release that energy. It's time to release that energy and let that energy go. Um, 33 on the clock. Yeah, you've definitely mastered something here. Um, and definitely with a Sagittarius, there is an energy. Um, they're trying to bring, help you release an energy, an old energy. Some of you have something to do again with the Sagittarius. Other W, it's something else. Um, some of you, it could be both. I feel like it's both. You're coming into a new you. A new you is, uh, is emerging. Okay, so it's important to get grounded. So again, I would recommend salt bath, meditation, um, a Reiki session. Um, if you know one, someone can do that for you or help you with that. But a salt bath is just as good if that's not something you can get to. Um, but yeah, there's something lying within your con uh, subconscious, darling. There's a, a new you emerging. Something will become very clear and evident to you this week along. Yeah, because I'm seeing the number 10. Something is completing. Some of you has something to do with your career. Yeah, your career, your profession. Okay, you're going to have a clear idea, 44 o'clock, of what it is you truly are meant to do and what you truly, truly want to do. And there may be something emerging you merging to help you to get there. Okay, 
but you're slowly don't rush it though sagittarius i mean that's the sagittarius damn the sagittarius there's a sagittarius very very heavily in your energy and they're helping you to release that energy okay of that sagittarius um, cause I don't think they belong there and not trying to be mean if you really do care about this person, but I don't think they belong there anymore, but they're hanging around, they're hovering around and it's just unhealthy. Um, but you, yeah, you're going to, what's going to say, you'll be seeing, hearing or seeing something very clear to you. You'll be feeling this very clear about what it is you're wanting to do and where you're going next. And again, I was saying, take your time with this. There's no need to rush with this because there may be an urgency of an, an energy that gives you an urgency of like, I need to do this now. It's okay. It's okay. This is a process. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep growing, 55 on the clock, keep growing. And you're going to get into it. You're going to ease into that new you because there's it's like wants to propel you forward, but it's just not time yet, okay? So you just got to remind your spirit, your mind, well, your mind and your soul that it's just not time to go yet. This takes time. So just keep doing what you're doing and slowly everything will come together because a new you is emerging, all right? Yeah, a new you is merge, emerging with this death card. It's got you know that that person that you were before doesn't exist anymore he or she is gone okay so i hope you found that helpful i am doing personals at this time towards if you need one otherwise if you want to find me again hit that subscription button thank you so much for your time i am journey thank you for coming to reading journey peace love and harmony namaste thank you thank you for helping us heal the world